So we've seen how to select data, insert data, update and delete. It's now time to see how we actually create these tables in which we've been querying and, and doing all these operations. The syntax is rather straightforward and everything I show you how to do in code or in script uh, you can do through the designer by clicking here and we can go on tables, new table and fill out a bunch of info here and, and it does the same thing. In the background though doing it here the SQL Server Management Studio simply creates scripts or code that I will show you how to do right now. So creating a table is pretty straightforward. I'm going to say create table and let's call it cows. And then in here we're just going to specify the columns in our table. So I'm going to say let's give each cow a name, say varchar50. I recall that varchar is just a variable length string of up to 50 characters and I'm going to say moo count and we'll make that an int. So <coughs> Uh, let's run this. If, when I hit F5, it'll execute this. Notice um, I'm doing this in the Northwind database. I could create my own database if I wanted to. I'll show you how to do that in a different video. But for now, I'm just... Let me bring this down. There, see, there's no cows table. So I'm going to run this. Command's completed successfully. So if I go over here to my tables and I click Refresh, notice I have this cows table. So I can select Splat from cows. You might think I won't get anything, but I actually do get something back, I get an empty table. But the table still has two columns. First one's a var char, the second one's an int. Now again, if I if I just hit F5 without highlighting anything, we're gonna get the error that we've seen. We saw in previous videos where we're saying, hey you already have a cows in the database. That's because yeah I, I created it and it's right here. So it persists. So again the trick if object ID of cows uh, is not null, then drop table cows. And I should probably should be consistent with my casing here. Go, create tables cows, so on and so forth. So, anyway, that's creating table, real short and sweet. Uh, you can have the columns here, uh, the number of data types. You can also specify the nullability. So, for example, let's insert into cows, values, uh, let's do Betsy, I'll put this on new line, and uh, I'm going to take that back, okay, Betsy, and let's say she's moved 10 times, so F5, one row is affected, uh, now watch this, I'm going to do a little trick, I can say it's, you know, I don't know how useful this is, but it's, it's kind of fun, insert into cows, default, values. So run that. Notice we get two messages here. One row is affected, one row is affected. This first row is affected is because we inserted these values. The other one is because we inserted the default values. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say, hey, what is what is in our cows table when we're done? So select splat from cows. Notice we get null here for these two columns. The default uh, on nullability is null. You can say, hey, you know, I don't want null here, not null. So I'll run that, I'll actually get an error saying, hey, cannot insert a uh, value of null into column name. Column does not allow nulls and inserts. So in that case, I have to sit and be a little more, more explicit and say values. Uh, let's say Georgie. Eh, if that's how you spell it, I don't know. And uh, I, can, I can still put null here. Uh, do I have my select still? Yep, I do. So insert, insert, insert. We get Georgian null. Um, I can give a default value if I don't want not if if I don't want nullable there. I could say default here, and the default will just make the default be Betsy. So now when I insert into cows default values, the default value for the Okay, this is going to sound a little weird, but the default default value is null. So since we didn't specify a default value for this column, the default will be null. But So null will get inserted in here. And then we defaulted this one to Betsy, and I can also still say not null. So let's run this. Like splat from count. So see, now we have two Betsy's. One we inserted here, and then one that was inserted in here. So that's, that's kind of the rough, basic, how you create a table 
in SQL. Generally, you do want to script these out instead of going over here and clicking and saying new table, yada, yada, because if you have the scripts, uh, creating and importing your database over to other machines or, or however, it's, it's nice. You can just run your script and, and it creates it. That's really good for deployment. Anyway, this this there's a whole lot more to creating tables I'm going to cover in future videos, but we've hit our five-minute mark, so I'm going to stop here.